Hello everybody. Today I wanted to show you how you can figure out what your user account is if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11. The reason I'm making this video is I had one of my other viewers who said that they would like to know what their user account is. And so I thought it might be helpful for all of you to know as well. So let's go over to the computer and I'm going to show you three different ways that you can find your user account and you can know where you can save your information and how to access it under that user account. Okay, so the very first way that you can figure out what your user account is, is you can go down here to the File Explorer and go ahead and click on it. And then you can go to this PC, go to your C drive, and then go to Users and it'll show you all the users that are on the computer. Now yours may be something like Dell or IT101, but it wouldn't be public. Every computer that has Windows 10 or Windows 11 should have a public folder. Now the reason is because anybody can go in there into the public folder and they can add documents, they can add downloads, they can add videos. And anybody under any user account on that computer can access the public folder. So I really don't think that you would be using the public folder. You'd be using one of the others. And I just happen to have IT101 and also Dell. But yours would be something else. So you can look there and see what your user account is. Now another way you can do it is we'll use the command prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and close the file explorer. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to click on start and I'm going to type in CMD and then I'm going to press the enter key and it opens up command prompt. Now I'm going to type in who am I all one word and I'm going to press enter. Now here you can see you've got the desktop dash KS4 ETC5, that's the actual computer name. Now yours may be a completely different computer name, but that doesn't matter. What does matter is what's after the slash. The IT101 is the current account that I'm logged into. So that's the one that actually matters, and that's who I'm logged in as currently. Now there's a third way that you can find it, and what we're going to do is we're going to close the command prompt, and then we're going to click on start and we're going to type in net pl wiz. We're going to go ahead and open it up and it's actually network places wizard. That's what net pl wiz stands for. And as you can see, I have two accounts. I have a Dell account and an IT101, but yours may be something completely different. So on your computer, you would want to look at those two usernames and you should be able to figure out, or you may have more than two usernames, but you want to be able to figure out which user account you're currently logged in as or what all the user accounts are. Because you may want to know a list of all of them. And if you notice, I'm logged in as IT101, I can't remove it. But I could click on this Dell one and I could remove that account if I wanted to. But I'm not going to delete it. But you can also add new accounts as well. You can just click on the add and then it'll say, okay, well, how is that person going to sign in? And they would want you to do a Microsoft account, but you probably don't want to do a Microsoft account. I mean, you can if you want to. I always do just a local account. So I click sign in without a Microsoft account and then you can do local account. So that hopefully was helpful to how to know which accounts are currently set up on your computer and how you can actually go ahead and add another one if you'd like to. If you have any questions about how to figure out what your user account is on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create for you, please let me know that in the comments as well. And I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like what is my Windows user account on Windows 10 or Windows 11? 
and I'll be glad to keep putting up content like this. And I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.